understand. This is a tissue. The endometrium is a layer of cell tissue lining the uterus. During the menstrual cycle, the endometrium grows to be thick and blood vessel rich. Because this is the environment for the implantation of the baby if there is pregnancy. Endometriosis is a long-lasting chronic disease. You're probably born this way. And when you have endometriosis, the type of tissue that lines the uterus, the endometrium, is also present outside the uterus. So it can be present in the form of lumps or implants, so a group of cells, endometrium cells, present somewhere else. So somewhere in the ovaries, fallopian tubes, the outer wall of the uterus, the intestines, other organs in the belly, and in very rare cases, it can spread in areas outside of the belly. With each menstrual cycle, these clumps or implants of tissue will have to go through the same growing, breaking down, and bleeding phases of the endometrium, which means that endometriosis will cause pain and bleeding somewhere outside or away from your uterus. And this will cause discomfort a few days before the menstrual period starts. And it is usually gone by the time the period ends. But if an implant grows in a sensitive area, it can cause constant pain or pain during certain activities like sex, exercise, or bowel movement. So the main two problems with endometriosis are the chronic pain and the infertility that might happen. There is no cure for endometriosis, but the treatment can help with your pain and infertility. So how is endometriosis treated? If you have pain or bleeding, but are not planning to get pregnant soon, birth control hormones in the form of patch, pills, or ring, and anti-inflammatory medicines may be all you need to control the pain. Birth control hormones are likely to keep endometriosis from getting worse. If hormone therapy doesn't work, or if growths are affecting other organs, surgery should be the next step. It removes endometrial growths and scar tissues. Laparoscopy can improve pain and your chance for pregnancy. In severe cases, Removing the uterus and ovaries, which is called hysterectomy and oophorectomy, is an option. The surgery causes early menopause, and it's the only one used when you have no plans to have a baby and have had little relief from other treatments. On the other hand, we have also infertility treatments. If you are having trouble becoming pregnant, even after surgery, you can consider uh, trying fertility drugs with insemination or in vitro fertilization. Endometriosis may have no permanent cure, but you can always discuss your family planning options with your doctor and stick to a treatment plan. It might take a very long time to succeed, but you will have to be patient and in the end you will probably reach your goal. I wish you the best of luck. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.